Hello YouTube people, this is a video tutorial on contact, specifically evolution, mutations, mutations 2, probably works with damage. And what I'm going to show you today is a way to change the MIDI sequencing of these patterns that come with evolving mutations and damage. And uh, I haven't seen anything in the manual, I haven't seen any videos on how to do this, so I worked on this this weekend and came up with a way to do it and I'm going to show you guys I think a lot of people will appreciate this because uh, it will give you more versatility of what you do so anyway here's mutations I'm going to open up instruments I'm going to go to rhythmic suites percussive and I'm going to take number two here all right Okay, so here's a riff. We're going to take this drum riff. We're going to change the MIDI to it so it doesn't sound like this pattern anymore. We'll go to the wrench, open this up, and we're going to isolate the note. There's my red line showing me it's right here. All right, so here's an important feature. This note is D1. Here's C1, here's D1. In case these, these always correspond to where you're at, but the note that you want to chop up, or actually it's already chopped up. As you can see here, here it is chopped up. So we're gonna rearrange these slices on our DAW. So I know it's D1, so I close this. In fact, I'll mute this. And now I want to go to this one, map loop slices. Open that up. Menu two, menu two. And that was D1. So I'm just going to scroll on down here. Right there, there's D1. All right, we're gonna drag that in. So here's that sample, all chopped up. So now what I need to do is actually find the MIDI clip for that. Insert, MIDI file, Go to the drive that has your native instruments. Here's my mutations library. And then this folder, MLS MIDI files. And then I'm in the score fair two menu. And now I'm looking for D1. There it is. So I drag this out and on to my DAW. It doesn't matter where it goes. I'll close this. And now I'm going to drag this up to the track that I have active, which is my MIDI channel 2. And uh, when I hit my play button, this should play. All right, perfect. So I'm going to open that up. And now I can mess with the MIDI and change it around. All right, so we'll put a couple snares down here. Let's see what else we got. Let's, let's put that hard tom a couple of times. Let's play it real quick. All right, I hope you saw that it's already making changes. we got here and let's see let's pull these guys down here 
Let's shorten them up. Let's hear the whole thing. All right, that's it. There you have it. So I've customized the MIDI, and it's uh, it's playing through the native instruments, and it's playing through this second rack that I have up here. The first one we opened was muted, so now this one has the exact sequence of of the beat that I'm after. So I hope that helped everybody. Uh, I struggled with this for quite a while. I knew this suite of instruments could do more, and unfortunately, native instruments doesn't offer any kind of tutorial for this and I didn't see any on YouTube so now there is one. Enjoy.